Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I am going to show you all how I installed these boho knotless braids using human hair from Y Wigs. This was my first time ever installing boho braids. I have been wanting to for so long, but I was only going to do it if I had human hair. So thank you to Y Wigs for sponsoring this video. Y Wigs provided me with two bundles of 20 inch deep wave human hair bundles. What is so cool about these bundles is that they don't have the actual weft on it. So you don't have to worry about doing all of the extra cutting and losing a lot of hairs from cutting hair off the wefts. They already give you the bundles with the weft pre-cut and it is very, very full as you can see. Y Wigs has a variety of different textured extensions that you can use for your braided styles, your protective styles. This deep wave is just one of many textures that I had to choose from. They have different hair colors you can choose from. I just chose a, a jet black, just black, because my natural hair is very black. In your packaging of no weft extensions, Y Wigs provide you with the tools you need in order to achieve your protective style. It comes with a rat tooth comb. It comes with a duck clip in order for you to clip up the extensions as you're braiding. And if you choose to crochet your human hair pieces into your braids, they also provide you with a crochet needle. All right, so with that, let's get into this install. So to begin, I'm going to show you all everything I use to achieve this style, starting with the star of the show, the unwefted human hair from Y Wigs. I have their deep wave in 20 inches. The braiding hair that I used here from Model Model, it's their Silky Touch Jumbo Connecalon. Product-wise, I use the Shine and Jam Extra Hold. The lock and hold gel, I use this mainly for my parts to make them look very sleek. And then the mousse to wrap up the style at the end. I always prep before I begin braiding. So here you can see me prepping and separating the synthetic braiding hair on this thread rack. And when I finished separating that, I added the human hair as well. Y Wigs has their human hair wrapped with this gold little piece, but it also has a rubber band. I kept the rubber band on and then I just slipped the human hair through that just to help keep everything organized and so I just didn't have hair all over the place. You don't need very large pieces of human hair when you're doing this style. This is the size that I tried to keep it consistent with and this is the size that I have all over my head. I am going for a medium braid size, so this is what I have chosen to go with. And as I'm braiding and I'm running out of hair, I just replenish the rack. It would be nice to have a bigger rack. I might get one in the future. <laughs> I pre-parted my hair the night before and I didn't show it, but I used a three-way mirror, which I find so incredibly helpful. So if you do not have one and you braid your own hair, I highly recommend you get one. I learned recently that the sooner you add your synthetic hair into your knotless braids, the longer they will last, which I have found to be true. So that's what I did. I braided a plait three times and then I added a piece of hair in. And then I braided one, two, and then added another piece of synthetic hair. In total, I added three pieces of synthetic hair to each braid to achieve the medium knotless braid size. Once I had all three pieces of the synthetic braiding hair in, I braided all the way down. For this first row of hair, I didn't want to add any extra human hair pieces. The only time that I did was when I got to the very end of the braid. I was very strategic with the way that I added the human hair pieces because I wanted the hair to get more full with the human pieces as I moved up my head. So with this first row, the only time I'm adding human hair pieces is when I get to the very end of the braid. Thank you. 
Here I'm showing where I stop braiding and where I begin adding in the human hair pieces. You want to add them in when you still have a good amount of length of synthetic braiding hair. You want enough to where you know that short end of the human hair will not slide out. That's the main side that's getting braided. At the end of each braid, I added three pieces of human hair. I did this on every single braid that's on my head. I braided down until I felt that the hair was braided in enough to where it wouldn't slide out. When I was done braiding, I grabbed a small piece of the human hair and I wrapped it around about four times and then just started knotting it over and over and over again until I felt that it was secure. I sealed it with nail glue and then that completed my first row of braids that have human hair pieces at the end. Now moving on to the second row of braids. In this row, I am going to add one piece of human hair to each braid as well as three pieces of human hair to the very end of the braid. The number of human hair pieces that I add to the braids will go up by one as I go up each row on my head. Like I said earlier, I want the amount of human hair to gradually get fuller as I go up. So this is the pattern that I decided to go with when it comes to adding the human hair pieces. It also helps with just keeping everything organized so I'm not just randomly guessing when I'm going to put in a human hair piece. Here's what that one piece of human hair added looks like and here it is along the entire row. And when I put the human hair pieces in, I put them in at random so that it wouldn't be so uniform. Okay, so now I'm on the third row. And because I'm on the third row, I'm now adding two pieces per braid. Two pieces of human hair per braid. So yeah, I hope that makes sense and you're able to understand the pattern that I'm doing when putting in these human hair pieces. So in the next row that I do after this one, I'll add three pieces of human hair and so on. Literally just adding one more than I did in the row before. I think it took me about nine hours to complete this hairstyle. I definitely could have done it a lot faster if I wasn't filming a YouTube video or a TikTok at the same time. <laughs> that probably would have knocked off at least an hour to an hour and a half. Um, but I did it a lot faster than I thought I would and pre-parting definitely contributes to that. So I really recommend you all pre-part. I don't know if you all can tell, but I didn't go very high up when putting in the human hair pieces. I wanted most of the human hair going kind of towards the middle of the braid and below. I did go a little higher as I got towards the front of my face, but I didn't go super, super high. Um, just because that wasn't the look I was going to, I wanted most of that human hair, like I said, towards the end. So I really like the way I did it. If you do this and you want pieces higher up in the face or just higher up on the braid definitely do that that'll also give you a more full look as well I didn't show it but when I finished putting these braids in they were so long like they went below my butt I think they went more towards my thigh <laughs> and that was too long for me so I did cut them I didn't have to cut that much so they still hit my butt um it's more of like mid butt and not thigh because like I said just that thigh length was doing the most so I did cut it the hair is all officially in it's so freaking pretty um I haven't dipped it yet I showed my sister and she thought I had already dipped it and it kind of looks dipped so I'm over here like should I even dip it 
so I ended up dipping it <laughs> and I am glad that I did because it just pulled the look together even more and because these are human hair pieces that I braided into my knotless braids I can get away with dipping it it does not affect the hair at all because it is human I'm so glad that I ended up dipping it because I feel like it just completely brought the look together it just made it look seamless after dipping the braids I did use the lot of body mousse on the top of my hair and along the length of the braids I recommend only doing this when you first finish doing your braids I wouldn't continue it as maintenance because it just continues to coat the hair and it starts to get a little nappy so um, to refresh your braids I recommend just you using water um, it kind of basically has the same results I am so in love with how these turned out and I will definitely be revisiting this style. If you all have not tried out boho knotless or just boho braids or boho anything with human hair, I highly highly recommend it. So I will have the links to the hair that I use down below in the description for you to try. It comes ready to go, ready to style, and yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please take care of yourselves, be kind to yourselves, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!